Uchi Makakomi. Uchi Makakomi. And it means inner wrapping, inner winding throne. And Makakomi is a wrapping action, okay, or a winding action, a wrap around. And uh, it looks kind of like a, um, very much like a Nippon Sainagi, except you kind of go wild with it and wrap it in Makakomi. What we're going to do, the basic thing is, is the defining thing, there are two defining things on Uchi Makakomi. Uh, one is your such a deep hip entry, your wrapping, and then another thing is the arm movement, okay? So let's look at the arm movement first. It looks kind of like Serenagi, except it's not. You're going to come in here like this, and it's over. It's like, oh my god, that's a sloppy Serenagi. Well, it is kind of, actually, you know? And another thing is, is about this, another thing is, is, is the deep hip action when you're rolling over. And I'm going to have, because I'm so much taller than these guys, it's better that two guys the same size than you did one Steve. So let's look, first of all, I'm coming back here so you can see it. Can you get the, see can, All right, so let's look at how to do Uchi Makakomi. And I'll just go ahead and throw them once so you can see it. Here's an Uchi Makakomi. Can you come? Watch how he wraps, he, he, he kind of, you know, comes in, he wraps under him, and he shoots back. And we're working on all this stuff. And he rolls him over. That's more of a classic Kodakan Judo very basic application of Uchi Makakomi, okay? And a lot of times, it turns out, we'll call it Uchi Makakomi, if a guy really tries to say Nagi, and he kind of slips over his shoulder, and he still keeps throwing him, we say, oh, that's a good Uchi Makakomi. So it's, you know, it's kind of, a, kind of one of those things. So let's kind of parse it out here. Now, when you do this, when you're coming in, you know how we do a say Nagi grip. So start with a say Nagi grip. Okay, come on in here, keep on say Nagi grip. But it's good. Now, see how he threw it deliberately over his shoulder. Okay? Now, look at his step in. He's exaggerating on purpose so you can see. See how he stepped in here? He's got a lot of room back here because with his left leg, he's going to back in. His back step in. And see how he's backed in? Now he's really in position to throw Steve, and he's just going to roll him over as he does it. That's the winding or wrapping action. That's the Makakomi action. Okay? Now, without me blabbing, just do it again. See, it's a real wrapping, winding, it's a wind-up. And that's the Uchi. There are two basic types of Makakomi, Soto Makakomi and Uchi Makakomi. So there's Soto Makakomi where you're coming over the top, okay? And Uchi Makakomi is when you come under the bottom. And those are the two defining things about whether Soto Makakomi or Uchi Makakomi, okay? So pretty much any time you get under his arm, come into a setting eye again, he might just, he's going to come in and say, now hop around out here and just move back. So he's moved around it, so there, see he's in position I can wrap around in the Uchi Makako. And that's a common thing that will actually happen in a real judo match, even a sambo match, you do that again, where Derek will come in and the guy will hop around, Steve will hop around, and he'll end up still throwing him, but he's wrapped him deeper, okay? All right, so um, I want to save the body for that. A few more times, no, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Um, Now, when you're doing this, a lot of poles is like coming in upon Sayanagi. But remember, when you're coming in, look at this step, step, in, now, step too close to him and block him. So you don't want to step too close to him because he's blocking his own body out. He can't get in well enough with his back hip, with the back foot. So when he steps in, he's going to step out here, come out again in a second. When, you, when you're stepping in here, don't step to him. Step across out of here. See this movement? See all the space I've got? Now I can come in. When I come in and shoot in, I can come in and turn and position. Well, that's what Derek's going to do, okay? So when he comes in, you're going to come across that body. And that's it. It's a big round rolling action, okay? Any questions on that, guys? Do you want to see Steve get thrown 20 more times with it? <laughs> of course, yes, yes. Now, one thing also, the arms. There are really two defining things about Uchi Makakomi. One is the big wrapping action, we just showed that. The other is the arm action. It looks like Sayanagi, except he kind of screwed up on it, okay? It's, it's really just over the shoulder and, and hug him to you like that. His arm should be kind of around your neck here, like this. Now, we don't want to leave it there too long, I'm going to choke him. But when he comes in, see how, that's, see how it wraps him tighter? And that's the, that's the basis of this throw. Okay, so one more time. Now, notice the big outsole, my basic entry, he doesn't step to him. I can't stress that enough, guys. Step across, okay? 
So he steps across. As he comes in, he steps deep. And see that big, deep back step? That's the thing that got the big roll to happen, the big Makakomi action. That's the very basic way that we practice it. I think it's pretty much the basic way that anybody in Kodakon Judo will practice that. There are other apps, applications, but that's the basic. Okay? Right, let's give that a try. This will help you in, in doing your Uchi Makakomi better because this is a little more realistic application of it. Because you might come in for like a Sainagi and he, I say cut against the grain, goes against the, the, the action of the throw to kind of move away from you and helps you get the Uchi Makakomi better. So this is, a, this is a demo here for me. So when I come in and when I come in I say Nagi and Eric hops around behind me. So if I come in here and he hops around behind me, I can now do this. Okay, so here's so this is a good this is a good action way, a good realistic way of doing it. So when Eric Derek comes in, you see that? That's a really what's probably gonna happen a lot in a real like judo match or sambo match. You're gonna come in for your Sainagi and he's gonna cut against the grain of it, he's gonna hop away to avoid the throw, and that helps you get in deeper. See how that wrapped in deeper? It looked like he was supposed to do that. Well that actually happened. And if you watch really good competitive judo or sambo, you'll see this come up from time to time. The guy will try and get Sainagi, the guy will move away, and, but actually what it is, it helps like newer people learn this better because it's a little more realistic way of doing it than the very basic way that I showed before. This really does work for us. So when he comes in with Sainagi, so watch, watch Eric. See how he hops? Now, there it is, it's set up the Uchi microphone. Now, don't get all worried about how whether my foot should do this. Uh, just remember, you want to wind him and wrap him over your body. It's really a super deep, maybe two. It's a two deep setting on him. You're going way with your butt out here. You're throwing him over your back and you're wrapping. Again, there are two major actions that we do in Uchi Makakomi. Is we know it's Uchi Makakomi if you really wrap him deep over your body. That's a Makakomi to wrap it around, winding throw. And another one is you coming up here. Okay. If, if both are present, it's definitely Uchi Makakomi. If, if one is present, it's probably still Uchi Makakomi. We're still going to call it that. So even if you come in like a Sayanagi and you still got a hip in there, we're probably still going to call it Uchi Makakomi. Remember, no matter what you call it, just call it a palm, right? Okay? So let's look at that more dynamic way of doing it here one more time. He comes in and he'll try to see hops around and he just rolls right through. It, that is common. Now you'll see that a lot. And some would say, boy, that was a cool sailing night. Okay, call it what you want. It was really Uchi Makakomi. Okay. And one of the things that helps me a lot is trying to get 90 degrees from them so that my hips are pointed towards them. And then grab the inner oh, point. Point that out. Point the critical point. point. Watch this. So as the, the arm shifts from the regular sailing grip, and it's up over, and you know that you're ahead, Catch him right there and bring it down. Number one, you won't get choked very easily that way. He might still try to do it, but that's where this comes in. So you get your, your hips 90 degrees and you've got a good hold of the inside of your arm. So that when you start turning in, there he goes. That's a good point. Did you see the hand controlling arm control? Point that out again. Watch, watch what he does do you might, And again, this is one of the differences that you might come inside. Now look at the hand there. Great point. That's all it's, he's got control here, he's got control here, and the wrapping movement even adds more control to the whole body. That is beautiful. Right? Glad you forgot to glad we're going to talk about that too. Thank you for doing that. Okay. Well, let's work on that. It's a little more realistic application of it, and I think you'll pick it up a little bit. Another variation of Uchi Makakomi, it's just, it's just different footwork. Now remember, Uchi Makakomi is in a winding throw, uh, in a, in a oh, round this one, throw. It's not a very basic way. This is a pretty good way. You may like this one, okay? Um, actually, this is the way I originally learned it. 
and I learned the other ways, you know, other entries before this, but this is the way I first learned it, and Don, you may have learned it this way too, I don't know, but I know this is the way I learned it. So when you're coming in, you're going to come into your say 90 type thing, but when you're doing this, you're coming in, see now he's coming way over on the side here? And when he comes in and he does his back step, he just fits in like a say 90 but see how he shoots back and he puts it over the arm, okay? And he'll shoot back and roll. It's a big hard throw, okay? It's a wrapping throw, okay? All right, try to... Shoots in like that. And it looks like a really crappy throw, but it's not. And I would also say on this particular entry, start over the side a little more because that gives you, you gotta have a lot of room to move because your whole body's turning and rotating. Okay, so come on in. And come in just naturally, come in just a few miles from you and exaggerate the step. See that? It's you see that was a little different than the first way we did it, the very basic way of the entry? Just coming in and just kind of plopping back. It's a little bit faster entry. See that? You go ahead and toss it this time. So you might like that entry, okay? It might be a little faster for you. It's just up to you. However you enter the throw, the basic concept is, is to wrap him around your body and roll him and it's, it's considered a it's considered a Sutemi Waza or sacrifice technique. You have to go to the mat. You have to roll them. You can't throw them standing up. A makakumi is a total commitment action thing. Okay? All right, we good? Let's give it a try. Okay. 